So let's go over a few things that we're planning first. I suppose first I should show you our kind of vision. So I'm going to show you a few pictures. These are some mock-ups. If you were at RuneFest, you would have already seen these, but I think it's important that you guys see roughly what we're going for and why we're going for it. So if we open up the first picture, then we're going to see what we're looking at, what the what we're hoping the the game screen will look at, and a lot of this is minimised. So it's important to know, as unsurprisingly, that on a mobile everything is kind of kind of constrained in. Um, and we're very space limited. So the first thing that we've got is on the right, you've got what we call in game, we call the ribbon. So you can open up your inventory or your, your worn inventory. It's going to be a bit like um, how the legacy interface works in that you're only going to be allowed one open at once. Um, in the top right, we've got the compass and that's going to, you're going to be able to open that to open up your mini maps. So you can be able to move around the world easily. Um, and then the chat button on the left and then combat area which I'll talk about more in a minute where we're actually going to jump in game in a minute and we're going to see Mod Shawnee take on QBD actually on a mobile. Um, so if we flick to the next picture we're going to pop out pop open everything um, and you're going to see why we need to minimize it like all of a sudden like our view of the game screen is very very um, occluded so you've got your chat on the left there that can pop out, pop out and then you can just tap and type in there you can see the inventory is open. Um, one big challenge for us was combat, so we've got action bars in our game and combat's pretty pretty difficult to accommodate, especially if you're going to be able to do it everywhere. So what we've actually got is the is this, like, idea of combat mode. So if you're in skilling, you're just going to have this sort of thing going on. But if you're going into combat, should we flip to the combat mode? Um, then you're going to have an interface that looks a little bit like this. Um, so you can see you've got your adrenaline at the bottom there, your, your HP above that, your prayer and summoning points. Um, then at the bottom there, you've got an action bar that's purely revolution. It's completely non-interactable. Um, it's just Revo doing its thing. Um, and then on those little circles you see either side of it is are going to be interactive action buttons and these are going to be bound to action bars we'll show you it in game in a little bit how you set, set those but it's literally bound to one of your 10 action bars like you know, don't need to set up anything new you can just flip over to that um, and above that you've got your buffs and debuffs um, so that's kind of what we're going for you're going to see it in game in a second obviously I, it's it's bit kind of been made a bit Frankenstein-esque when you go in because I've just had to steal UI assets from anywhere I can find them in the game to make it kind of look like that and surprise surprise it doesn't look like that. Um, but um, also... It's not playing nice. What is going on there? Mm. Don't know. Um, so, try and well, it I'll out. check that out in a second. Yep. Um, so, the first thing I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna go over actually is whilst making mobile, we've thought of a bunch of really cool usability things that we're just gonna add to the game. Um, one of them, I can't really show you it, but we've made a ton of optimizations to the to the game. Um, to the point where like on low spec machines you're gaining FPS from us optimizing basically what we've done just how the top level things work. Transparency, for instance, was taking an awful lot of an awful lot of, of time away from just rendering the game. Um, so we're going to release that soon. You're going to see that in the patch notes. But on low spec machines, we we were gaining like almost double digit FPS. Um, We've also fixed a kind of weird thing. So you know when you are in the bank and you spam click and the, the tabs at the top go a little bit. Go a little bit weird. Um, we fixed that. We fixed the camera screwing up. If you don't have the loading screens on in Barrows, um, it's a little bit egregious. Um, and we fixed that so the, the camera no longer screws up. Um, that's a gain of double digit FPS, not double digit FPS normally, you cheeky gits. Um, <laughs> I love you, but you're cheeky. Um, also, We've added some updates to the ribbon itself. So the ribbon that we saw in the mockups doesn't look like this. So if I unlock my unlock my interface, um, and this is what you're used to it seeing, and the ribbon itself um, is kind of locked to these different modes, kind of like the combat bar is. So if I resize the combat bar, you've got uh, ugh, you've got like these different modes. Well. 
we've got rid of that and you can like to help you with your alignment and everything this thing now resizes just like any other window so you can just resize it make it look however you want um, we've also allowed you to customize it completely how you want so if I switch over out of default mood D default mood, default mode, um, then you might remember this sort of sequence. Um, and we can like stick it down the bottom here, kind of like how it used to be. Um, not to mention you can, so if we go in, so you've got full customization, so you can, you can add or remove anything you want, you can do it however you want. We're not gonna, we're not gonna dictate anything to you, you can reshuffle them, you can, you can have nothing if you're that way inclined, look at this wonderful window. Um, it really is up to you to decide how you want it. Um, I'm gonna switch back to default mode because everything's gone. Um, We've also made a start on something known as targeting in combat. So clicking on monsters in the game world was quite difficult. Um, so <clears throat> we've actually started implementing. So if I go into the controls, you're going to see I've got keys bound to next and previous target and direct target. And I've this, it's going to smoke puff to see where I'm po pointing at, but you can cycle the targets around you if you want, see how it's smoke puffing. Um, this, the order of the targets is, isn't very good, so we're gonna need to improve that in the engine. Um, as you can see, it's, it feels a little bit random when you're cycling around sort of thing. Um, and you can also directly target to something, so you don't need to start auto attacking something before you target it. I can just target it and then I can choose to open up with an ability um, rather than auto. Um, what else have we done? We've done an awful lot of things. So those are the kind of things that are just going to be coming to the game. We're not going to wait for mobile for them. When they're ready, we're just going to release them because it, you know, it helps you normally, um, not just, not just when you're uh, on mobile. There we go. Words. What are they for? Um, so we're having a bit of trouble getting the mobile working right now. So I'm going to see if I can do some. Some interesting hackery um, to oh, to to mimic what the mobile interface is going to be looking like. So I'm going to pretend to the game that I am on a mobile, and then I'm going to log out and log back in again. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, this will work fine. Don't use the command direct login in live. It will show your password. <laughs> uh, thanks for Dardan for testing that for us. Um, Cool. So I completely got rid of everything on my uh, on my sidebar. So let's let's at least put like the backpack and the worn equipment. You see, I'm just kind of recreating my uh, my system here. Um, so you can see that the chat's up here now. The the mini maps up here. This will be able to minimise soon. You've got your little combat area down here. You've got your buffs and debuffs. I can open and close these. Um, and then, as I, if I click on this button, it's going to pop up, and we're going to see we've got our revolution bar down here, and we've got our usable buttons here. Um, hopefully, soon we're going to show you it in in action. Um, like I said, Sean is going to take on the QBD on mobile because um, this does all work. Um, if you go into the game settings, you'll see where you'd normally have your action bar settings. You can just um, you can just bind your existing action bars to these. So I can bind my action bar seven, which is my utility bar down here, and then my range bar to the revolution bar down here. And then it's just going to perform revolution for me. And if I want to, I don't know, freedom out of the non-existent minotaur attack, I can just click on that and tap on the screen. So it's all about giving you something that allows you to take on top end bosses. Shawnee earlier on did actually kill Telos using this interface, um, but we're not going to put that pressure on him on stream where he's only nice. going to he's only going to take on QBD. Nice. Um, but it, it kind of uh, we're going to swap to Shawnee now and you're just going to see it actually in action. Come over. Come over. Uh, the camera's facing... Oh, hello. So uh, we've got the camera swapped over in just a minute. Um, so come on so, over, Pi. Come on over. Sure. Right. There we go. <laughs> We've, uh, so we've set it up such that you can see it on screen, but we're going to... Oh, 
Goodness. What? What? Sorry, there you go. Stop it's me. There we go. Man. We're good. We're good. Um, Sean is actually using a mobile phone. We can. We can. Uh, have we got a way of proving that? Um, yes, right. There we go. Right. Watch. 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 Uh, oh, we've oh, got oh, a dash cam. Oh, dash yeah, cam. Dash cam. There you go. There we go. So, we're so he's it using it. Um, uh, but we're mimicking that to show you. So Sean is gonna. We're gonna take on QBD, aren't we? Have you watched uh, my video where I teach? <laughs> where, I, yes. where I teach Dave teach, uh, Mod Osborne, right? Mod Osborne, yeah. Oh goodness. Um, so cool. um, personally, like, just I'm so n nervous. Are you right? You might want to go into combat mode first. Like, you've got no combat bars. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. Ooh, glad you mentioned that. Actually, <laughs> yeah, let's, pre let's press the combat icon and get that stuff. There, there we, we go. go. Now right. we can see. Now we can see it. And obviously, the boxes you're seeing very, very work in progress. FYI, but yeah, you can see that I've tried to customize the bars that I think will help me in this scenario. Um, so. And what kind of frame rate have you got on the on the mobile there? Uh, well, let's have, let's move the camera and uh, we'll see how we're doing here. I think that's we'll... that's that's nice and smooth. Yeah, I think we're we're we're, we're around 60, 60 fps on a phone. On a phone, which is disgusting. Awesome. Right, <laughs> ignore the huge boxes. It's fine. Right, I here think we go. No pressure. The the I think my favourite thing about taking this to RuneFest was that a few people told me that RuneScape works better on a phone than it did in the gaming PCs in the tent. <laughs> Um, so that felt good. <laughs> I, can imagine, I can imagine that feeling good, actually. Yeah. So right now you can see an immediate problem we've got where the, the inventory is big. Um, we want to give you your standard 4x7 inventory, but it's, it's you know... It's... Go away, Yak. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not Yak. Yak. Titan. Titan. Yeah, even. Sorry. Oh, ahead. this is going so well, isn't it? Are you, are, you, are you nervous at all, Sean? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, understandably. <laughs> it's going already if you do. Oh, um, yeah, no pressure. This is, this is a OnePlus 5. Um, currently, we're, look, it runs really, really well on OnePlus 5s and Samsung S8s, the American version. Um, but we're making massive, massive optimizations every day. Um, I actually test it on an S6. Um, so I think that's going to be our aim, our min spec is going to be the S6 and the iPhone 6. <laughs> to the wall. Sorry, you might hear me <laughs> randomly shout as we're playing That's alright, that's alright. <laughs> um, oh, not bad, we're dodging oh. the walls though. It's not bad, it's got the soles as Your well. Your hand's covering the... Covering I'm the sorry, I can't <laughs> help. I know he's throwing grot it's, right. it's not even P4 yet, man. Like, Press the pin, there you go. <laughs> there we go. go. Oh, you mean my you, heart is pounding what right do you mean now? You don't surge over. This is this. My is. heart is pounding. Give me a break, man. <laughs> oh, um, so as you can see, you've got all these buffs on the on the left there, debuffs on the right. Um, adrenaline is building in the in the in the center. Um, you've got quick chat button working there. Your summoning button. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Get over to like. The, the, the idea here is to give you as much control as we can. Um, obviously, in an ideal world, we sh we'd let you have, like, oh, 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 Whoa! oh, oh, <laughs> the heels, obviously, the heels. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, in an ideal world, we'd give you, we'd give you access to, like, all of your on-screen action bars. Oh, come on, mate, don't, not the faster hurdle. Three. Two minutes. Two minutes on a mobile. Good. That's not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> I swear, um, if, I get a, if I get a good drop now, I'm done, honestly. Oh, pet. <laughs> no, please don't. Let's find out. <laughs> Come on, pet. Oh. All right, here we go. What we got? What we got? Oh. 200k. It's not bad. Yeah. Two minutes of work for 200k. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, there you go. And obviously oh. the QBD interface that we had from we... Monday's update, actually. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Um, <laughs> but how, how did you find that? Like... So, personally, apart from the fact that you were really, really worried, like, yeah, I was absolutely petrified. Um, so, uh, essentially, uh, what I really liked was um, the ability to. So, I can just get to my prayers really here, uh, quickly here. Of course, yeah. you have, if you have quick prayers, it actually works in tandem with that as well, which I don't. But, yeah, you should really should set them up, surely. Um, we got obviously our abilities that we want to fire off on the left and right hand side. So, if I wanted to fire off um, my thresholds, which is what I did during that fight, I could just press them straight away. Got my revolution bat at the bottom, of course, and you just get them to fire off. Off the abilities I need to. Yeah. Uh, someone's saying that's faster than their mainscape speed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there um, go I'm sorry <laughs> if that's the case. Um, but um, what saved me then was I had a huge heart in my face going, yeah, you should probably heal up. And of course, my screen turned red, which was yeah. uh, an update we brought yeah, out last still does year. That, yeah. um, but man, this is just so useful. But what I'm going to do now, actually, is I'm going to press this button. If I can. Oh, wow. So it's worth saying that. Um, 
Currently, we don't have what's known as UI scaling. So the, the ribbon at the moment is actually is really small compared to all the rest of the buttons. Mm -hmm. That's because we don't have that thing called UI scaling in where it's going to look at the phone and allow you to actually press the buttons. So it's going to enlarge all of the buttons on the screen um, and make everything much better. So we uh, obviously you touched upon uh, the ribbon itself. Yeah. Um, I think it's really handy to say that you know we can just take out whatever we wish, which is really awesome. And obviously you know yeah, it says it's, up to it's thirteen about icons as well. Yeah, giving you control, really. Yeah. So I can just go, hey, I want to see my friends. Hey, I want to see my friends chat, my clan. And you can see it's I love how it, it, it scales as well. It's so yeah. handy. Um, so for having this for the ribbon is just a win. Um, it's worth saying as well. If you if you really really fill it, like just stick as much as you can on there. Um, see how it's really really full. If yep. you Okay. This Are you going to try and get me to do a drive? I was going to say, yeah. Hold do do down it. on the cog, like. <laughs> Hold down on Wait the cog. Wait a second. Cog. I think. I think. Can you do it on the mouse? Yeah, I can. Um, is if you hover over this. Oh, there we go. It shows you your extra ones. Ah, oh, very so nice. So the the cog, if you if you hover over it, will actually show you the extra ones. People um, are mentioning about my scrum show still being yeah, on. So Wasting valuable time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we do have a working version of UI scaling, it's just not as performant as we'd like. Um, but the idea is to not, again, it's another thing that we're making it for mobile, but everyone can benefit from it. Yeah. So mobile is making everything bigger, but then like 4K screens, for instance, are going to seriously... Like, yeah, because everyone on their 4K yeah, exactly. screens have the tiny, obviously the interfaces and scale is very small interfaces, so yeah. that's pretty handy to have something like that. That was quite terrifying, by the yeah. way. Yeah, genuinely, um, that was great, though. Enjoyed that. A but lot. like, this is this is where we are right now with mobile. I hope you can see, like, we're we're cracking on. We want to get it to you as soon as possible. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna like uh, like hand the combat version of the uh, the combat prototype over to you guys, so that you can give me some feedback, um, take down Telos, and uh, and just tell me what what you want, really. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, apart from that, you know, there's so much work going on already. Obviously, just to reiterate yet again, very work in progress, of course, on the layout. Yeah, I just grab sprites from anywhere. But I mean, it, it's there and it looks it looks great and it's pretty awesome. Um, there's uh, a lot of questions actually regarding mobile, but I think what I'm going to do now is get ready to pass over to the couch. My party's going to join us and yes. we'll start answering a load of questions from you in the chat. Let's do it. Oh, 